Thank you for tuning in to Meaning Beyond Measure, a look between the staves. I'm your host, Ben Peterson. The purpose of this podcast is to dive deep into music, to share the story behind the sonnet, to explore the conundrums composers faced, and ultimately to discover new meaning in the music we make. The classic song, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, was composed for the movie Meet Me in St. Louis. It eventually soared to the top of the charts and became an international sensation, but the piece originally began in a garbage can. Composers Hugh Martin and Ralph Blaine were asked to write the music for the 1944 film Meet Me in St. Louis. They needed a melancholy song, and Martin hit upon a sweet, somber little tune. But after working with it for two or three days, Martin decided it it just wasn't working so he threw it in the trash. Luckily, his partner Blaine thought he was insane, so they rooted through the garbage and pulled out the piece which became Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. The original song was then written for a scene which highlighted the despair of two sisters, both of whom had to leave their home and friends at Christmas time. Here are those original lyrics. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. It may be your last. Next year we may all be living in the past. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Pop that champagne cork. Next year we may all be living in New York. No good times like the olden days. Happy golden days of yore. Faithful friends who were dear to us will be near to us no more. But at least we all will be together, if the Lord allows. From now on, we'll have to muddle through somehow. So have yourself a merry little Christmas now. Well, hearing those words, you might think perhaps they should have left the piece in the garbage. And it's possible that Judy Garland would have agreed with you. When Judy Garland first received this piece, she felt the lyrics were far too dark. She approached Martin and asked him to change the words. Martin responded that the piece was supposed to be sad, but Judy insisted she couldn't sing that song to a sweet little six-year-old. They'll think I'm a monster. But Martin wouldn't budge. Fortunately, the director, Vincent Minnelli, and other people on the set pressured Martin to compose more hopeful lyrics. Eventually, Martin caved, and he composed these lyrics, which Judy Garland sang in the film. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. Next year all our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the yuletide gay. Next year all our troubles will be miles away. Once again, as in olden days, happy golden days of yore. Faithful friends who were dear to us will be near to us once more. Some day soon we all will be together, if the fates allow. Until then we'll have to muddle through somehow. So have yourself a merry little Christmas now. These tender, revised lyrics struck a chord with the nation. Just as she'd done for years, Judy Garland sang for the servicemen and women at the Hollywood Canteen. But that night, when she went there to sing, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, there wasn't a dry eye in the room. Soldiers fighting in World War II found hope, even as they were miles away. Families at home yearned for faithful friends to be near to them once more. But before those golden days, all would have to muddle through somehow. But hope for the future allowed many of them to have a merry little Christmas now. In 1944, Decca Records released a single of Judy Garland singing Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And it didn't just become a hit, it also proved to be prophetic. The next year troubles were out of sight for many, because in 1945, World War II ended. Although Judy Garland performed this Christmas ballad regularly, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas quickly faded from memory. Well, that is until 1957, when Frank Sinatra selected the piece for his Christmas album. 
Sinatra reached out to the composer Hugh Martin and asked him to revise the line, Until then we'll have to muddle through somehow. Sinatra said, quote, The name of my album is A Jolly Christmas. Do you think you could jolly up that line for me? So Martin changed the line to hang a shining star upon the highest bough. The reworked lyrics and Sinatra's singing helped revitalize the song. Since then, multiple renditions of Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas have appeared, including Have Yourself a Blessed Little Christmas, a rewrite Martin did to focus on the religious aspects of Christmas. Now, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas has stood the test of time, and that's perhaps in part because of its bittersweet melody. It acknowledges a sense of loneliness and wistfulness which many feel at Christmas. But just as Hugh Martin rewrote this Christmas song, each of us has the chance to rewrite our Christmas season. Surely there are struggles we must muddle through somehow. But golden days need not be a thing of the past. Our present may be golden. The promise of Christmas is because Christ was born, one day our troubles will be out of sight. With that hope in the future, I hope that you'll find the strength to have yourself a merry little Christmas now. I'm Ben Peterson. Thanks for discovering with me this Meaning Beyond Measure. This particular episode of Meaning Beyond Measure is dedicated to my friend Austin Kennedy. Austin Kennedy is one of the most positive, and encouraging individuals you could ever hope to meet. I was lucky to meet him in choir, and we made amazing music together. But as wonderful as he, his voice and his music were, I was even more touched by his courage and his strength. Everyone around him just comes away feeling better. And unfortunately, Austin and his family have been muddling through a very difficult time this year. They discovered that Austin has cancer all throughout his body, and especially around his spinal cord. Um, It's been a very difficult time, but for me, Austin exemplifies the message behind this piece, just as the piece was rewritten again and again to become more positive and more encouraging. Austin has a gift to rewrite his attitude and his outlook on life in what is and should be a hard and difficult thing, Austin chooses to focus on the positive and to bring light and joy to all those around him. So thank you, Austin, for being a good friend and a great example. You're awesome, Austin. Um, To my friends and listeners, I'd encourage you to help Austin and his family if you can. I'm providing a link below so that you can make small donations so that their Christmas can also be merry and bright. Thank you for your support. Thank you for listening. I hope that you will have a Merry Christmas here and now.